Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today I'm back in Westfield and we're tearing down an existing three season room and we can make some changes, some doors. And so I'm here today early. They're not done framing just yet, um, but we're gonna run some new circuits down the basement. Uh, now this house I believe was built in the 1950s and I've been here before and uh, we're gonna run some new wires. Let's go.
So where I left those cables down in the basement, this is the wall just above that area right there. And so what I did is I drilled a hole into the basement and I pushed my wire through up into this first box right here that'll receive the home run. And then from there, we'll extend our branch circuit to additional receptacles, lighting outlets, and other, and maybe even the outside GFCI. Uh, but here, I'm just cutting in this receptacle. And the way I like to do that is... Um, Take my razor blade and go right down the middle of the cable after the wire has been put into the box. Both of the wires are in the box. Then I'll peel back the sheathing. And this particular roll of wire, the sheathing had a hard time being removed from the conductors. It was really crazy. It took me a lot longer than normal. Uh, but as you can see, I slice down the middle and then I peel back the sheathing. And then I'll have the knife go inside the box and I'll leave at a minimum... A quarter inch of the sheathing inside the box from where the wire uh, comes out of the sheathing that's a code requirement and then from the edge of the box we need to have a minimum of six inches outside the box that's what the code calls for and so what I'll do is I'll pull these wires back <clears throat> I'm sorry I pull the sheathing back and then I'll take my equipment grounding conductors the bare conductors and I will wrap them together as you'll see here and then I will leave one conductor longer than the other and splice that together in a loop hope i'm describing that properly but as you can see i'm wrapping these wires around then i'll take one of the wires and uh, cut it off <clears throat> and then i'll bend the long conductor to each other and wrap it around again and splice it so it's nice and tight that pigtail right there now you can put a, a green wire nut on this if you wanted to do that i just didn't happen to have any on my pocket when i did that uh, anyhow i will tuck the uh equipment grounding conductor pigtail on the back and then I'll use my fist the, the length of my fist around these conductors here before I break it uh, before I cut the wires and then I'll tuck them neatly into the back of the box and I'll be ready to go thanks for watching this video guys and we'll see you on the next one